We are now in week number two under my profile section in your promo shop system. We also talked about the impact of your branding and what that looks like when your recipients receive your email. In addition, we took a look at some of the unique pieces that are available within promo shop that are very unique and not available in other systems. So we're able to take a look at all of that last week. Your assignment was to make sure that you make those changes in your My Profile section, that you go in and you adjust your, your branding, and then that you start thinking about your contacts and getting them organized. Today, we're going to focus heavily on the contact manager of PromoShop and import your contacts into PromoShop, and then through the back door. Remember, if you have questions, please feel free to let me know what your questions are on the right-hand side. I'm logging into Promo Shop now. You should see it. This is my third webinar today. A little slow. So long if you have questions, don't hesitate. You will absolutely. They get right in. They have no problem getting their content. We're going to get into that as the weeks go along, but today I want you to focus on the power of what you have. They're all going to be listed in alphabetical order on the left-hand side. All of your contacts will be displayed. If you just want to see, you know, if you want to see, let me give you some tips. If you just want to see particular groups, you can click on groups and it's going to show you just your, you'll see it come up on the screen as soon as it refreshes. Give it a moment. All right, so here on the left-hand side, you'll see all of your contacts listed. See the comma? It's actually a record. Let me explain to you why that does that. When you click on that, you're able to just an email address. It's actually a comma. So you can take that contact, and on the right-hand side, you can go ahead and delete it. If it's an empty record, notice that some of it, this first contact I have up at the top, there's a comma and then a first name. Your database of promo shop, that's really important. Forget the clutter. You want to focus on what matters the most, and that's a well-organized contact manager. It's always a moving you know, system that will always require you to add and delete people. It's just the way that it is. Okay. Now, here's some tips that you might not realize that you can do with the database. And that's, for example, I've got quite a few A's listed here. And of course, I can continue to scroll over you know, till I get to further in the end of the alphabet for those who have their last name that start with A. Instead, though, let's make it easier. What you can do is you can click on the alphabet, clicking, you'll see this little double arrow right here. If you, okay. So if I'm looking for a contact whose last name begins up on the screen in just a second. Okay, see? Atkinson Maria. So save yourself the time. See that little button down at the bottom, the little arrow? That's how you can expand the alphabet, just like you would a phone book, okay? All right, so let's take a look at some other things. You've got your, all your contacts listed, all right? Let's talk about groups. Excuse me, you have groups in your database, but they don't clean up and clean up your database as best as possible. Get rid of the clutter because it's confusing. It's going to be distracting, too, if you have groups in your database. You have a group called, uh, no, wait, you have client, coworker, friend, and family. That's it. But you can go into Promo Shop, and you should. You need to. You need to go up to the Manage Group section. This is where you can go in and create your groups. You can delete them. You can customize them. Okay. So we can take a look at lots of different, like Bruce's contacts. There was nobody in there. Sure. It's not you select it. So there's lots of tif different groups that you can create. There's no limit as to how many groups you can have in the system. Okay. So I can go ahead and type in Bob. Let's say I'll create a new group, and I'm going to call it Bob's Sphere of Influence. It's important to create groups in your database. Okay? Groups, there you go, you'll see Bob's Sphere of Influence. You need to have specific groups. If you're an, obviously, you're an, you're an exit agent, there are specific groups that you can have in your database that will be very powerful for you in the near future. Number one, people that you well need to be in your Promo Shop account using Promo Shop. But guess what? It also includes your branding, your photo, your contact. I call that your sphere of influence. Another group would be your customers that you're currently working with or those who've invested in working with you. 
those are your clients that you should include in your different conversation to your sphere of influence than it is to your client. Thank you for your trust. You know, send me someone else I can help, just like I helped you. So there's a whole different dynamic and conversation to your clients. Another contact. This is going to be important because as we go along in the webinar series, I'll be teaching you how to create your business to business campaign. Think about it, right? If it's a home inspector, if it's a landscaper, if it's a cleaning company, you have work for them. They love hearing. When you call them and send them, does that business provide, you know, does that service provider that you work with, do they reciprocate? Do they send you referrals on a regular basis? Chances are the answer might be no. They, well, the reason why they might not is because they might not know that you need a referral. So I'll be teaching you how to make sure to communicate with those business-to-business -business contacts to let them know that from time to and because you demonstrate that to them regularly, it's going to be more of an awareness to them, and that's really important. Maybe for you, add your business-to-business -business contacts. Also, here's another group for you, and Bob, make sure that you can see my screen okay. Another type of group would be your agents, right? Agents that work with you are very important because I'll be teaching you how you can get more business from the competition by adding a group of your of agents that you network with into the system of promo shop. You need to send them your listings. Okay. You need to also make sure that you are you know communicating with them if you have a referral, and also your sponsoring. That's a great opportunity for you to create a group of great, you know, prospective agents that you need. automatic email campaign set it and let the system do the value messages on your behalf for you automatically. So sponsoring could be a good one. There's lots of opportunities. But importing and creating your groups is very important in Promo Shop. Okay? Now a couple ways that you can get your contacts in. Let's click on add a contact at the top. Add because this takes a lot of time. I don't want you to have to go at exit e a n g a dot com, I think. Let me take a look. Yeah, exit e because should they have a phone number or you know you want to really demonstrate your time, you want to show them that you're not just going to spray them with email. You want the system to be able to alert you when it's time to send them a handwritten note, when it's time to do a phone call just to check in. Those are very important aspects to the doing this. Be, be sure and let me know. You'll see in just a moment on your screen, personal information, consumer information. Consumer information, you'll see that come up. There we go. This is their home purchase date, their loan amount. You'll see that come up in just a moment. Now you'll notice that there's a save. Remember, Bob, if you have any questions on this, be sure and let me know, OK? So we'll make sure to indicate it'll move that your contacts associated to that person. Moment is email addresses. You can store that we use to communicate. I have my personal email and my work. Actually, I have three emails, two work emails. And All right, delivery preferences. This is an important section. You can determine how you want to contact your customers. If you want them to be contacted either by email or direct mail, it automatically defaults to either. Okay. But you know your contacts better than we do. If you want to change that from your marketing, they can do so. Uncheck this box. It'll uncheck email button to remove that check mark. The system of PromoShop will do it. So if they want to be on, you'll see this come up on your screen in just a Hang tight. This come up. is you've got to get your contacts in order. Amanda Medic. But Amanda can help you import your contacts, but I need you to be ready. Okay? This is something that, you know, PromoShop interfaces with pretty much any contact management program out there that exists. So the benefit is you can take your contacts and you can, you can easily put them all into the PromoShop system. Okay? So that you can get them in and start, you know, because starting next week we're going to take a look at how you can market consistently, you know, to your contacts. So it's really important. You know, we're also going to talk about next week how to get more business from the competition. You've got to get your groups in here. 
a way, you know, the types of groups that I want you to start thinking about for next week. So I want you to think about your, your clients that current, you know, that have invested in you, whether most recently or some, some time ago, all of your contacts, you know, the clients who worked with you. In addition, I need you to think about the agents that you network with. We need to get a list of those agents in here so that when you have a listing, and I'm going to show you how to do that next week, you can email those agents. In addition, your sphere of influence, people that know you the best. I want you to bring those people into the system. Okay. Just as an overview, when you click on any of these contact management programs, so for example, if you have Outlook, you can click on Outlook and it's going to give you the instructions on how to get your contacts in from Outlook. Okay. She can get your contacts, your contacts into PromoShop if you haven't already. If you have them already in PromoShop, my right, organize them very well. You'll notice up at the top of the screen, you've got Find a Contact. In the Find a Contact section, in just a moment, you'll see on your screen. The places I would recommend that you do is go to Groups and Interests, and then Submit. Once you submit, you do not belong in a group. In just a moment, you might have many more than that. And if that's the case, you want to make sure that you spend some time and you get them into a group, okay? You don't want people floundering in your database who don't belong to a particular group because chances are, if that's the case, they're not being marketed to specifically, okay? So know, number one, very important, that you can walk you through this process. There's no cost, and it's just going to take you really a few minutes to get this accomplished. I want to, think you, I, I want to get you thinking about the types of groups that you're going to put into the system. Your, your clients who've invested in you, your business-to-business -business contacts. Also, want to make sure that you have your sphere of influence, people who know you best. Want to make sure that those individuals get into promo shops. What I'm going to do is I'm going to also email to Mike an Excel spreadsheet. It's going to be a master Excel spreadsheet. So if you currently don't have a system in place, maybe you've got all the names on business cards, that's fine. Or maybe they're your Christmas list you know, on envelopes, that's fine too. I'm going to give you an Excel spreadsheet that you can utilize to get your contacts into the system. But you want to be ready by next week, okay? Let's take a look at what we're going to cover. The system is a little slow this week in week number three, and I hope that you join us. This will definitely be a session that you'll want to participate in. Okay, ups and how you can crop photos and add add photos from stock photography that we have in Promo Shop. We're also going to talk about multi-channel marketing, so we're not just printing flyers anymore. We're talking about how you can leverage Promo Shop's unique system to email your flyers, to send them to you know particular groups, to also add your listing to Facebook to LinkedIn, to Twitter. You need to know how to do this so you can expand your reach, making you the better choice against the competition. We're also going to talk about some unique pieces that are found in Exit Promo the rest of your day. Should you have any questions about Promo Shop, be sure that you let me know. Your homework, make sure that you get it accomplished. You've got to get your contacts in, you know, into the system. So start getting more. Give us a call so that we can assist you. Mike, I appreciate your time and your commitment to your, to your agents, helping them achieve you know, some great opportunity to get closer and more, create more meaningful relationships with their contacts in their database. And let's see, let me see what Mike says. He says, thank you. Absolutely. It's my pleasure. So we'll see you next week. It's going to be a great session. Again, get more business from the competitors. I can't think of anything else better that I'd like to do than that. So have a great day, everyone. We'll be speaking with you soon. Lean on me should you need further support. That's what I'm here for. Take care. Bye-bye.